Hello you guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If this is your very first time, welcome. If you are here for a second, third, or fourth time, welcome back. Thank you so very much for stopping back by my channel. Today we're gonna talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. We're gonna talk about budgeting. I know that for 2020, I've been talking about making sure that we're not living paycheck to paycheck, making sure we're completing our budget, making sure that we are slaying and saving and making sure that we are just really finding different results as it comes to our money. And so I did a post on Instagram and I realized that some people do not budget because they simply don't know how. I know when I, before I started budgeting, I did not know how to budget. I would get these budget forms that um, you can like download online and it just didn't work for me. It, it it just didn't make sense. The light bulb didn't go off. I can't budget. If this is what budgeting is, then just forget it. I won't do it. So until I began to watch YouTube videos and watch how different people did their budgets, that was when I finally understood how to budget. And so what I want to do is I want to talk about how to budget in a simplified way. Everybody has their different methods of how they budget and you want to do what's best for you and what's best for your situation. Me, um, I budget paycheck to paycheck. That's how I budget. I'm paid bi-weekly. Um, I'm not paid on the same day every single month. And so for me, it just works best for me to budget by paycheck. Some people budget monthly, some people budget every week. So it just really, really depends on how you budget. So today what we're gonna solely focus on is how to budget paycheck to paycheck. I will kind of talk about if you are paid only one time per month and then also if you're paid weekly. But the main emphasis is gonna be on how to budget paycheck to paycheck, okay? So if you want to see this video, Go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you hit the notification bell. Here on my channel, we talk about all things finance with the emphasis on budgeting, uh, budgeting <laughs> saving, and paying off debt. And we are just here to slay, okay? 2020, we are not planned. Okay, if you have to remind yourself every day that we're going to make a change, then that is what I need for you to do. I've been doing it for myself. I have been tested. Let me tell you, we are at the 15th day and I have been tested probably for like the last two weeks. But let me tell you something. I am determined to make sure that I win and I am bat combating everything with the word of God and of course, what I know he has for my life and making sure that if you want different, you have to respond different, period. You cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. So that's just where I am. But I don't want to go off on that tangent because we here for paychecks, okay? <laughs> paycheck to paycheck budgeting. All right, guys. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have written down all of your bills okay you want to have your fixed expenses written down and then you want to have well your fixed bills and expenses and then you want to have your variable bills and expenses so what does that mean a fixed bill and expense is basically a bill that you receive every single month and it does not fluctuate what is an example of that an example would be your rent or mortgage your cell phone bill that probably doesn't fluctuate much your, um, let me see, let me look here for my own bills. So any memberships that you have, like 24 hour fitness, your car note, all of those things, anything that does not change. What is a variable bill or expense? That is something that changes every month. So for me, it would be my gas bill that changes it would be really like my utilities my water bill changes every single month um those are the things that change so what you want to do is you want to have that written down somewhere so for me i don't necessarily have it broken up into um, actual fix or expenses because I already know what it is. However, when I first began budgeting, I had to write that down. I needed to know the bills that 
fluctuated and I needed to know the ones that remain the same. So that's the very first thing that you want to do. And you don't want to only do it with your bills. You also want to do it with your expenses as well. What are your expenses? Groceries is an expense. Um, eating out is an expense. Toiletries is an expense. Gas money is an expense. All of those things are expenses that you have to put into your budget to make sure that you are properly planning for your money. Okay, so you want to have that written down somewhere. You can just take a regular piece of paper and you can just uh, at the top of the paper, you can write fixed bills, write it down, and then the next variable bills, and then you want to write that down. Also, next to that, what you want to do is you want to record what the due date is for those particular bills. Okay, so for myself, I have it written here on a dashboard that I got from Erin Condren. Before, I just had it on a piece of paper. Okay, it was something that I printed out. So it doesn't have to be deep or anything like that. So here we know that my mortgage is due on the first. My T-Mobile bill is due on the first. My water bill is due on the first. Everything is kind of due around the beginning of the month for me. 24-hour fitness due on the sixth. Apple storage due on the sixth. Gas company due on the 10th. Cable on the 10th and so forth. When you complete this exercise, you'll be able to see, like for example, for myself, the majority of my bills are due before the 15th of the month. So I have a pretty hefty top of the month. If I needed to, and, and then my car note is up to here as well. If I needed to, I can call my car note and I can, or my, the company who I'm financed through, and I can say, you know what? can you change my due date to probably like the 20th of the month? And then that way I won't have this large bill also combined with my mortgage because nine times out of 10, I'm going to be paying both of these things at the same time. Okay. It's completely up to you if that's something that you need to do in order to make it work when you're budgeting paycheck to paycheck. Okay. So you definitely want to have them written down somewhere. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side. So here, I'm just going to use a couple of months that I've already budgeted for already because I think that it would be a better visual for you to see of what it means to budget paycheck to paycheck. So in the month of December, I was paid on the 13th and then I was also paid on the 27th. Even though I have all of these bills due in December, all of my bills are not going to be paid with the 13th paycheck and all of them will not be paid with the 27th paycheck within this month. Okay. So here I am on the first. There's no way that I can wait until the 13th to pay all of these bills to pay mortgage to pay cell phone to pay my water bill to pay my car note they would all be late okay so what did i have to do i had to take this check oops, sorry <laughs> which was paid on the 29th and that's what i paid all of these bills with okay then the check on the 13th, that check, then paid my cell phone bill, I'm, I'm sorry, my credit card bill, Apple Music, and my Wells Fargo credit card, okay? So then this check on, not, not I'm sorry, not my Wells Fargo credit card. So then this check right here on the 27th, when I go into the month of January, paid my water bill, my mortgage, cell phone, car note, 24 hour fitness, Apple storage, all of that with the last paycheck that I received in December. Now in January, when I received the paycheck on the 10th, that paid cable and internet, gas company, electric, and some other stuff here okay then the next time i get paid which is going to be on the 24th we'll then pay the bills for the next two weeks 
So I'm hoping that that kind of made it more clear of what it means to budget paycheck to paycheck. You're basically paying all of your bills within the next two weeks or one week or month with that last paycheck. If you're paid on the 1st and the 15th, then basically you're going to pay all of these bills with the first paycheck and then on the 15th all of these bills behind it with the 15th paycheck if you're paid on the first of every month and that is it on the first you pay all of your bills until you get paid again on the first of the next month so that's basically what it means to budget paycheck to paycheck very simple very easy to me that's when i it clicked for me on how to properly budget for my life another thing that i want to point out in the event that you have mortgage that you have any high bill or expense if you want you can calculate all of your bills and it for the variable bills the way that you calculate that is you take you look at the bill like for example if i wanted to look at my gas bill right i know in the winter my gas bill is a little bit more than it is in the well a lot more than it is in the summertime so i can look at my highest month and then i can just split that into two paychecks so case in point my mortgage my mortgage is not 750 dollars. my mortgage is 1500 but I take $750 from each paycheck so that I'm not filling it so much by taking all $1,500 out of the one paycheck, okay? Same thing with my car note. So that I'm not taking all $458 out of one paycheck, I split it up and I take $250 out of each paycheck, okay? That is what you can do with all of your bills or you can do it with certain bills. So for myself, I only do it with my car note and my mortgage in the winter time. I think I'm gonna start doing it with my gas bill. So I know that when I receive the notification, then I'll just take $100 from one check, 100 from another check, and when the bill is due, I can pay it or not. It's not, it hasn't really been an issue as of yet, so I don't know. But I normally do it for bills that are more expensive, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's how you budget paycheck to paycheck. It's really, really easy. Once you kind of get it written down, it's easier for you to, of course, visualize it. And then you need to, and then you'll be able to see if you need to make any changes to make sure that you're able to fit everything in your paycheck, okay? All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you, but it has been a pleasure, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.